<laughs> okay, this young man in Slovenia has been dealing with parental alienation as, as a mediator, as a teacher. And if you look at what his impressive abstract has to say about this, He's been conducting seminars in Slovenia about parental alienation, and he's been working with the Slovenian Human Rights Ombudsman. Now, why do they have one of those, and we can't get one in the United States? What the heck? What's the matter with this picture? Ready, Tom? I'll keep talking. <laughs> you knew that. OK. So. Well, all you folks in television land, and for those of you here, it's important to hear about, as we heard this morning from Maria Simona, the important struggles in other areas of the world that may have some ideas that will carry us forward. Certainly the Swedish lawyers are all going, yeah, boy, we need some help here. Okay, mate a lot. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Uh, this is really not going to be a scientific lecture like before, uh, but it was amazing. Uh, so, I'm from Slovenia. Does everybody know where is Slovenia? No, we don't. <laughs> can you, can somebody find Slovenia? <laughs> yeah, somebody, yeah. Right in the middle. So, it's a huge country in the central Europe. Uh, the dark here is almost bigger than our country, uh, than Slovenia. Uh, but, you know, it's not everything about the quantity, it's only two million of us. Uh, but most is about the quality, as you can see. And we have so many beautiful and intelligent people that we are exported them, for example, to the USA, to become the first US lady. <laughs> about my, some suggestions. Uh, I will present my story. Um, I am actually working in therapeutic boarding school. Uh, it's kind of residential school. Uh, and uh, I realized that there are many, many children uh, who are in that boarding school uh, from the divorcing families. So I just started to, to search books, the articles, First, I started to search it in Slovenia. Uh, there were no books, almost no books, almost no articles. Um, but I, I, I was just looking for the uh, material, in, especially in the USA, so that I started to develop my private practice, my private knowledge in the field of divorce and in the field of parental alienation as an important dynamic in divorce and families. So the situation in Slovenia, it's, it's really, really bad. Uh, so far we had no research from the field of, of divorce or any subfield of divorce. So it means no, no professional books, uh, no articles. Um, so that I just started to develop uh, the knowledge in, in the blanket field uh, uh, of an important dynamic. Uh, so I've read past three, four years, I've read about 40, 45 books and more than 70, 80 articles uh, about the divorce, about the uh, parental alienation. And um, after I, 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 uh, uh, I get all the knowledge of these books and after my work uh, with children and with their parents in my primary job, um, I just uh, uh, started with counseling for parents especially target parents are the ones which uh, are looking for me and uh, which are finding me. Uh, and I also have to decide uh, what to do in that field. Uh, will, I, um, will I go, am I going to, to search a, a university where I will make my own research or will I move things forward my way? 
so that's uh, now I have my company and uh, I'm also focused uh, on translating the material of, of some of you and uh, in 2015 uh, I have translated the first book, wedding book uh, about the divorce from Christina McGee uh, actually I haven't translated I haven't translated I hear it. Uh, my translator translated I published it in my company so that uh, this was the first book about divorce uh, in Slovenia uh, I translated and uh, actually titled also the DVD from Christina McGee um, Lemons to Lemonade uh, anybody knows for the book, for the video, yeah. Um, so in 2015, uh, I also made a deal with uh, Rick Warshak. Um, I translated, uh, my translator translated, I titled and I published the DVD, Welcome Back Photo. Um, it's an excellent DVD uh, about the alienating, uh, just look for it if somebody doesn't know about it. Uh, it's a great uh, video, so that I have published that video also. Uh, a few hours ago, uh, we were listening to parental uh, acceptance and rejection theory. Uh, the questionnaires that have been used also in the research that Mr. Burnett has presented, uh, I have also translated and I'm using these questionnaires uh, at my work. Uh, and the questionnaires are also ready to use for other professionals in Slovenia. So that this is what I did uh, last year in 2017. Uh, video split, I also licensed and subtitled. Uh, it's, it's a nice video. 12, 12 kids are speaking about how they, how they feel about divorce, about the, the, the dynamic, about what is going on in the family. So that. It's a really nice uh, video that, that parents can, can see the dynamic and what is going on in their family through the children's eyes. Uh, so that usually when I present that video in my counseling or my lectures, there are many tears. Uh, so that, uh, really, really good video. Uh, and uh, soon, um, the how book Getting Through My Parents' Divorce from Miss Baker is going to be published, uh, it's translating now uh, and um, this is an important step forward uh, to help especially children uh, to deal with divorce, loyalty conflict, parental alienation um, so that uh, I'll just try to get an interest uh, for workshops and for using this help book also at, uh, especially primary schools uh, so that uh, this is another tool at my work and uh, I hope to get also other partners at schools to use this help book. Uh, so, doing that means that especially I have to think more entrepreneur, uh, like entrepreneur than, than a professional from the field of divorce or from the field of parental alienation. I've got no one who's supporting me, I just have to, to think and to decide what to do uh, and um, this is uh, but this is the only way it, that you move things forward. <laughs> if you will wait uh, for the state, for, for the sponsor, for a, a university which will support you, it can take decades probably. So that this is just the way I, I started to work uh, in Slovenia. So in December, uh, I also published uh, a peer reviewed article, um, Parental Alienation. Actually, it is the first peer reviewed article in Slovenia uh, on that topic. Um, and I also plan to to write another article on children's best interest uh, because, as I told you already, there are, there's no research in Slovenia, I think, no articles, no books. Uh, so that um, it would be also an important step because uh, we know that uh, alienators usually do not accept uh, the knowledge and. and uh, the fact that uh, having contact with both parents and living with both parents also after their divorce that it is children's best interest. So, I'm cooperating also with Human Rights Ombudsman um, when I had counseling <coughs> sorry, for parents 
Um, they just told me many times that uh, they have uh, often problems getting information about their kids, uh, about their children. They couldn't get information at school, uh, at uh, medical centers, uh, even at centers for social work. Uh, so that I was just thinking what, what to do about it. Uh, so that uh, I appointed the meeting with the Human Rights Ombudsman. I presented them uh, the problems of uh, especially target parents, uh, so that we prepared the document. Um, I have translated the document so that for the next few minutes I will just leave. Uh, you can see what, what we have prepared and what I'm sharing with especially target parents, uh, of course, for free, that I'm helping them. Uh, at least a little bit to limit uh, alienators. Yes, this was the letter they, they okay. sent to me. Actually, they answered to my question about the help that uh, these parents. So the point is that uh, uh, state authorities have to share the information about, uh, about children uh, to both parents, uh, no matter the fact is this custodial or non-custodial parent. Uh, but uh, of course, it is it's, it's much different if it's written by human rights ombudsman, if it's written by Matej Zaplotnik. <laughs> but it gives you uh, uh, more authority also in that field, uh, so that many parents uh, who brought these documents to, to, to the school, to Center for Social Work, um, called me back and they told me, they have told me that uh, I immediately probably got the information I, I've been asking for for a few weeks, months, or even years. Uh, so that it's an, uh, also an important document uh, I'm sharing for free for parents, uh, to, to target parents. Um, so that also when I have some doubts of, of my work, uh, I'm just sending a message to an email to human rights ombudsman. And usually they, they answer me in a few days. Um, so, it's also an idea for, for other uh, here in the room uh, what to do in, in, in countries where there's very low awareness of what is going on in uh, alienating family, uh, families. Uh, and <coughs> I'm also lecturing. In 2017, I had quite important lecture. I had 90 minutes uh, on the conference in the name of a child. There it was 250 judges, prosecutors, and criminologists. <clears throat> After I presented uh, what's the story about alienation, uh, I just got feeling that I had a huge support from the side of uh, prosecutors, but uh, many of the judges, mostly women, just uh, turned around after, <laughs> after, the, the, after my lecture. 
uh, some of them, have, of course, showed me a little bit of support, uh, but uh, uh, it's a huge work also waiting for me. Uh, what I have done also uh, for that uh, conference, uh, I got also uh, a sponsor uh, who bought 250 pieces of the DVD, Welcome Back Pluto, so that we shared the DVD uh, to each participant. Uh, so that if they wanted to get the message, they did get it. Uh, so that um, it was uh, actually an important lecture uh, for me and also for uh, other uh, state authorities. I also had two eight-hour seminars on parental alienation in uh, November and in April. Uh, most of the participants were social workers. Uh, it were a few therapists and a few school workers. Uh, altogether, it was uh, on both seminars only about 20 or 25 people. But I just know that uh, each professional who understands what is going on, uh, who understands the dynamic of alienation, is, is an important professional. Uh, so that uh, I'm just not giving up, so that I guess that every year I'm going to have but I guess it's one seminar on parental alienation. Each seminar is a little bit different, of course. I'm, I'm reading all the time. I'm, I'm upgrading my knowledge so that um, I'll just uh, keep doing that also in the future. I'm also writing my expert's opinion. Uh, my expert's opinion um, after I make a review of the core documents and some other information. Uh, information. Uh, I just write down my opinion what is going on in a particular family. Usually, target parents uh, ask me uh, ask me to write my opinion what is going on. My opinions are usually supported by 15 to 20 books, articles. In comparison with uh, child custody evaluations, uh, I've read about 25, 30 child custody evaluations. Only one was supported with two or three researchers. The rest of them uh, didn't have in, in, even one, even one article or books which supports their conclusions and uh, recommendation. So some of my, some of my uh, opinions are also critiques of child custody evaluations. Um, uh, here I'm talking about the court appointed evaluators. Um, I have also applied for that position to become a child custody evaluator. Uh, of course, I was refused uh, to become an evaluator. Um, the, the argument was uh, that um, I'm just not experienced enough in that field. Uh, in other words, uh, I cannot use projective tests, which are usually the basic information for, uh, for uh, recommendation and for uh, conclusions of uh, child custody evaluations. Um, Rorschach, projective test, etc. This is the basic of, of the child custody evaluation in Slovenia. Uh, so uh, I was refused um, but because it's totally closed group of psychologists and clinical psychologists. Uh, there is not even one professional who is not psychologist or clinical psychologist. Uh, so that uh, I didn't have, even have a chance, a chance to to, uh, to take an exam, uh, but I know for a few other social workers <laughs> who were taking an exam, but of course they uh, they didn't pass. Uh, so um, after that, I am even a little bit more eager to write critics of child custody evaluations, uh, but. Um, I'm just recognizing that uh, judges are, are more and more curious about, about the content. Um, the evaluators are more and more often asked about the, the arguments I read down in my, in my opinions. Uh, so that um, I'll just keep doing it because uh, in opinions usually is presented the whole, di the whole dynamic uh, about uh, alienation so that um, I'll just keep doing it, uh, and uh, this is also an important way um, how to raise the, award, the awareness of parental alienation and how to help parents follow their rights and their 
responsibilities. I'm also in the process to become a co-leader of a family bridges workshop. Uh, Randy Rent, uh, he's my mentor and he's the brain of family bridges program, uh, reunification program for severe alienated children. Um, Randy Rent is actually leading me a little bit. He's, he's sending me material. He's sending me U.S. knowledge about parental alienation. Uh, so that, uh, thank you a lot uh, so far, uh, and uh, I hope that soon I'm going to be ready to, to become a co-leader for Family Bridges. Uh, and I also plan to import that program uh, to Slovenia, what actually it means to, to translate it to subtitle of the video material and, and the other material, so that uh, it will take me a few years, but uh, this is my long-term plan, long -term plan. Martin, shall, also. We, shall we ask uh, Randy Rand to stand up? Sure, Randy. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'm also not hesitating when asking uh, to come on, uh, on national TV. Um, in the past years, I've been four or five times invited uh, on national TV, uh, and usually I'm presenting a, a dynamic of parental alienation. Uh, it was also an extensive interview on parental alienation in one of Slovenian magazines, uh, so that uh, I'm just accepting every uh, invitation and I'm just uh, taking each opportunity to uh, raise the awareness of parental alienation in Slovenia. Uh, in February, there was also a conference in the Slovenian parliament um, on, on parental alienation, and I presented it, uh, of course, as a child emotional abuse. But uh, I guess that it, it wouldn't surprise you if I tell you that there were no politicians. politicians. So that uh, but there, were, there were media, there were, it were other professionals uh, and parents. Uh, so that uh, it was just a small step forward. Uh, in parallel with my activities, there are also some other changes uh, in Slovenia. Uh, in June, or maybe at the beginning of the July, the first appeal uh, of this, uh, against Slovenia was sent to the European Court for Human Rights. Uh, a client of me uh, did it. Uh, it's a, the target parents who haven't seen their daughter for, for seven years. Um, so it's an appeal uh, of uh, discrimination, uh, especially of men, fathers, in the process of, uh, in the processes in centers for social work in courts. Uh, so that uh, I hope that uh, the case uh, will be resolved also uh, in the Euro European court and that it would help uh, to imply some structural changes uh, uh, to Slovenian institutions. Uh, Slovenia is finally also changing a little bit a family code. Um, until now, judges are not allowed to decide about co-parenting if both parents don't do not agree. We know that alienators never agree, but Share, sharing uh, parental responsibilities. Um, so that uh, I, I guess that many countries uh, has has this uh, part of law already for decades. Uh, but in Slovenia, I hope it's going to be soon in Slovenian Parliament that uh, this suggestion, this proposal, will be accepted, uh, and uh, this would be also a small step uh, forward uh, at limiting uh, alienators. My plans for the future, I have mentioned uh, some of them. Uh, <coughs> those that I have already mentioned. I have also prepared already a reunification program uh, for my moderately alienated children. Actually, uh, I'm trying to prepare a program especially for uh, families where alienators uh, are just. Uh, Telling and are just uh, defending themselves that they are trying to do everything that the kids uh, will go to to the other parent. 
um, so that uh, I I prepared already the program. I I'm in the process of searching my uh, co-leader, uh, one family therapist, uh, for that program, uh, and uh, uh, that's why I'm also here in uh, Stockholm. That I'll get some final ideas from other successful reunification programs, uh, and that I will uh, I will put my final uh, things in in the program, so that by the end of, of this year, I hope. The program will be ready. I'm also preparing a program for children of divorcing parents uh, uh, in my private practice and uh, in schools. Um, of course, part of this program will be also a workbook getting through my parents' divorce. Uh, and uh, I'll just try to get an interest also in schools because they have their children, uh, children every day in, in, in their institutions. Uh, they know children uh, the best, uh, and uh, uh, I will work next week. I have uh, a lecture for uh, social counselors, uh, so that uh, I will just uh, start my way at, uh, at uh, getting interest in, in that field. Uh, Family Bridges is a reunification program, and uh, I also didn't give up yet to become court appointed. Child custody evaluators. I'm just waiting for the right time, and uh, I'm just uh, waiting for a time when uh, current ch child custody evaluators will uh, realize that uh, if you cannot be the enemy, join the enemy. So <laughs> I, will, I will wait for the right time. Uh, but uh, it's everything. What I work next to my primary job, next to my family and three little kids. So that's slowly I'm moving forward. Uh, so this was my way. I hope that someone get some ideas about uh, what to do, how to move things forward. Uh, so thank you for your attention and of course welcome to the All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You've heard from therapists, you've heard from some lawyers. We'll hear from more lawyers tomorrow. From one of them you'll have talk wash, that's an important legal term in America. But now we've heard from a young entrepreneur. How about that, huh? How about another hand for a young entrepreneur doing, doing this work? That's a very valuable perspective on this because often people think, what can I do? Well, there are all sorts of things. Do we have any questions for Mate about his entrepreneurial work? I have a very quick one. Okay. I know you're almost out of time. So I have a, what I think is a truly interesting question, if I can say so myself. In April 2017, you went to this conference where there were judges, prosecutors, and criminologists. That's what your slide said. And you said there was a lukewarm reception. What was the problem? What was the barrier there? What were they thinking? You know, I'm still having trouble getting my mind around how you could reject the concept for which there's so much evidence. I think that they are still thinking that uh, uh, the abuse allegations are real, that uh, most of the parents are, uh, are violent. Uh, so that I think that, that it, it is the most important part of the concept which they just do not accept. Because um, I got a few cases uh, where, where also some judges and also child custody evaluators uh, recognize what is going on, 